Why, hello, hello there, lovely humans of Earth. Mr. Bean does blind date. This, like, has to be good. I realize it's comic relief, which sometimes ain't so great, but also this was a suggestion, so we're going to watch it anyway. But I freaking love Mr. Bean, and Rowan Atkinson does just everything I've, I've seen. He does it so well, and I say it every time, but because it's so true, he's so good at his craft, and I love it. So, I mean, this has to be fun. I mean, the guy's a jerk, right? Like, the the character, he, he ain't great. So, I wonder. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Blind Day! Like and here is your host, Priscilla Blind! Oh, wow! What about... <laughs> They don't get a paid a penny extra. Hello and welcome to Blind Date. You know, I read this survey. The Sorry, pause. You know what's funny? It's funny how fashion comes back around again. Like in Argentina, I don't know if it's fashionable everywhere right now, but the thing that got fashionable right now is like those really big wide leg cargo pants, especially for women, like the huge ones. Um... That used to be popular, like, when I was, what, in, like, the 90s? I don't know when that was popular, but that was popular at some point. It came back. And the thing that came back, all the, especially for old ladies, they're all dressing like this right now with, like, bright green blazers or bright orange or bright yellow or just, like, these awful fluorescent kind of colors. And just, oh! <laughs> Those kind of colors that aren't flattering on anybody. <laughs> And that totally came back. Like, I've been watching the news and they've been wearing this kind of stuff. And it's just like, ah. Oh. Okay. So sometimes, you know, you, you think you learn when there was a whole time that people used to wear this. And you can look back and say, yeah, that's ridiculous. I shouldn't wear that again. But nope. Fads come back. Crazy stuff. All right. Sorry, ma'am. I didn't pay attention to what the hell you said. What about <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they don't get a paid a penny extra. Hello. Welcome to Blind Date. You know, I read this survey the other day. I did. <laughs> now, apparently, it's, it's now true that two out of every three people wish that the third one would go away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hey, nonny, nonny. And here are three fellas all hoping to go away on a blind date. Here they are. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't see it, right? <laughs> Think you're all very fanciable, fellas. <laughs> Who's this guy? Well, I know this guy. The okay, the second guy. He looks super familiar. I totally know who he is, but I just I totally don't. <laughs> I'm blanking very hard on where I know him from, what his name is, what I've seen him in, or who the hell he is. But I know that face. View number one. What's your name and where do you come this from? This one. Not Hello, so Silla. I'm Rob, and I'm from Kentish Town in London. <laughs> Then, That's right, right Silla. Yeah, I'm a carpenter and I uh, specialize in beds. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that's the best flash I've had all day? <laughs> you specialize in beds. Yeah, that's right. right, Silla. Well, if you could make that perfect bed for that perfect lady, who would that lady be? She'd have to have the face of Michelle Pfeiffer, oh. the body of Cindy Crawford. Oh. <laughs> And the bedside manner of Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to you, number two. Uh, oh, uh, number two. Sorry. I'm uh, 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 number three. Yeah. Oh. It's you, number two. What's your name and where do you come from? Well, Silla, my name's Rody and I'm from Edinburgh. Damn it, that is loud. Roddy, what do you do? Well, Silla, I'm a student, and uh, I'm studying... <laughs> I'm studying French and German literature of the 19th century. That was ages ago. Well, number two... <laughs> number two... Oh, student. I mean, we all of our students, don't we, gang? Yes! 
Who would you keep warm on those long Scottish nights? Well, Stella, it's really good to be Princess Diana, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Fat shot. <laughs> Moving on to our third contestant. What's your name and where'd you go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> A lot of fans out there, number three. What's your name and <laughs> I'm number three, and I've come from the dressing room. Ah. Spot on. Ah. Bless his little cotton socks. No, but what's your name? Tell us your name. Oh, uh, Bean. <laughs> and your first name? Uh, Mr. Mister. Mister. <laughs> I was just guessing. What you do for a living? Well, I don't go around asking people personal questions. <laughs> <laughs> Not too personal. Who is your ideal lady? Oh, well, Shirley Bassey, obviously. <laughs> Goldfinger! <laughs> Shirley, it's a great friend of mine. She's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yes. Diamond Lover of It's crazy to be <laughs> When he plays Mr. Bean, it's. I have no idea how to even. Begin to guess what age he is, like, right there. How old is this man, like, now? Like, how how old do you guys think he is, and how old is he actually? Because, I mean, oh. his face is between... I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's definitely one of those people that look a lot older because they got, like, the thick, you know, after... What, what's it called? Five o'clock shave? What? There's a word for it. Shade? I can't remember, but like he has the, you can tell he has like a thick beard and stuff, but I feel like that's what he looked like when he was maybe 25, but he's also like, could be 40? <laughs> I have no idea. It's just no clue. Uh, <laughs> like, he well, looks young, three but he doesn't. A Laura look. In fact, a Laura Laura look number three. <laughs> <laughs> I shall see you all in a moment. All right, see you later. So, so, which one of those boys will be lucky tonight? Well, it's all up to one girl. She's absolutely lovely. She's from Manchester, and her name is Tracy. Come in, Tracy. <laughs> Now you've got your questions therapist. first, so fire away, Trace. <laughs> right. Every time uh, I hear like one of the the actual names of people that work in, in that kind of stuff, it's always just so what? Like they, the, the the words they make up to try to make it sound important, like a beauty therapist, a beautician. And and just words like that, like, oh, okay. Um I'm a girl who likes a good dance. If you could have just one dance with me, what would it be? And that's number one. Well, Tracy, I'd have a little trouble deciding between a lambada and a tango. But in the end, I think we'd just go for a little horizontal dancing instead. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> Yeah. What about you, number two? What kind of dance would you do with me? Uh, well, Tracy, I'm a bit of a romantic, so I think I'd take you in my arms and we'd waltz off into the sunset forever. Oh, that's <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> oh that sounds nice. Oh, it does. That sounds nice. Sure. Yes. What about you, number three? What kind of dance would you do with me? Oh, I can't dance. Oh, yes. Come on, number three. We want to see him dance, don't we, gang? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Joey dance? 
Crazy. Here's our Graham with that quick recap. I get this. So, song. who's it going to be, Tracy? Will it be number one, who makes a business out of making beds, and whose horizons are distinctly horizontal? In other words, he's a perfect. Or will you choose number two, <laughs> the Scottish lad, who's an expert in languages and wouldn't say non to a little French kissing? <laughs> or will it be number three, he keeps his business secret, but he might just make you an offer you can't refuse? The decision <laughs> is yours. I know who my favourite is. Oh. Who's your favourite? Don't tell us. Who are you going to go for tonight, Tracy? Well, Scylla, I think I was daring coming on blind date in the first place. I think you were desperate. <laughs> <laughs> right? Jeez. Well, I think that I might go for number three. <laughs> <laughs> I legit thought that this was going to go down, that she was going to go number one. And he was going to throw some kind of just tantrum and make a whole fit and just make it a mess. <laughs> so what about the two that she turned down? Oh, let's have a look at them. Oh, it's a shame. First of all, you turned down our Rob and he was all the way from Kentish Town. Come in, Rob. I feel like that guy's mega famous as well, right? Having second thoughts, Tracy. Oh, a bit. A bit. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. What about number two? Roddy from Edinburgh. Come in, Roddy. You know, I so want to know what I know him from because that little, that little mischievous smile he has all the freaking time. Actually, what have I seen him in? Like, I don't know why I'm imagining him. Don't, don't ask. I don't know. In like some kind of devil costume or a demon costume something with wings i don't know but that little smile is just i've seen that before <laughs> oh roddy roddy oh au revoir roddy oh mon petit chucky earth <gasps> is he that the the german uh the blue mutant in x-men is he Hold on. I totally got to look it up now. <laughs> because that, that's just going to bother me forever. The one that can teleport. Uh, X-Men. I think it's X-Men 2. They made so many X-Men's and they lost me with like the names they had. Instead of saying X-Men 1, 2, 3, they gave them those weird names. I was trying to watch them in order the other day and it was a mess. It is. Alan Cumming. It is him. Okay. See? Okay, he didn't have wings, but he did. He was kind of like a demon thingy. What a shame, the Roddy. Oh, I got Martha distracted. <laughs> chucky earth. <laughs> what a shame. But this is it. This is the exciting bit, Tracy. Okay. You are going out on your blind date. Do you think you made the right choice? <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> May I say? I think you're a very brave <laughs> You will I'm not be disappointed. to get far, right? <laughs> so here's your blind date for this evening. Number three, here he is from his dressing room, and his name is Mr. Bean. Come in, Mr. Bean. <laughs> Beautiful. I love that. That was great. <laughs> oh. Okay, then which one are you going to do the choosing? Where you're oh, going make, on? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're all. Some of the cuts are all good. Oh, no, don't want to go there. <laughs> um, ah, this is it. 
a night in an English country hotel. <laughs> is that is that the one you're going to go for? Yeah, yes, it's on. Are you happy that that Tracy a night in an English country hotel? I mean, they're all lovely dates. Do you oh. like champagne? No. <laughs> I'm sure you'll have a good time. Oh, <laughs> please try and have a good time. <laughs> All I ask is, will best. you come back shortly and tell us how you got on? Oh, I, I certainly will, Miss Black. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? Let's hear a big hand for the lovely Tracy and the marvelous Mr. Bean. Oh. See you later. Did you get to see me? Our romantic couple and I spending their romantic go. weekend at a lovely English country house hotel. Ah, She's looked out. Oh, God. Nice music. I'm sorry. Drinking milk. <laughs> nice music. Oh, yes. It Very was. Nice. Ah, this is your room. Yes. <laughs> well, good night. Good night. <laughs> Would you mind her? Did you win each other's hearts? Let's find out. When I first saw him, I thought, oh, she was a little girl. I know she was a little girl. Is, is that? Because I can't really tell. Sorry, honestly. 
I can't tell if that's supposed to be broken from when he hit her with the mallet. Probably, right? But it looks more like she's just got a... Like a... It's not sunflower. It's a watermelon seed. Just like lodged there. But sure. <laughs> when I first saw What'd she her? say? I'm sorry. Let's find out. When I first saw him, I thought... Oh, she was a I thought she was a <laughs> I when I first her. saw her, oh, I thought, blind, she's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. He didn't say much. He didn't have much conversation. He had a, a bit of a tendency to keep himself to himself. Can you say something? When he did come down to dinner, I thought it was a pity that he had his shirt sticking out of his flies. <laughs> And when I came down to dinner, I could see that look in her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> one thing, you know. <laughs> a bit stupid in stomatic camera, <coughs> snapping everything. I was surprised he didn't take it out and take pictures of his food. Well, and best of all, I got a photo of the meal. <laughs> he was. It was. The he was Instagram <laughs> before Instagram. <laughs> It was the worst weekend of my life. Oh. I like how <laughs> the chip tube keeps getting higher and higher. <laughs> it was the worst weekend of my life. Best weekend of my life. <laughs> of course I'll never see him again. It was a total disaster. Oh, I can't wait to see her again. <laughs> I'm going to buy her a ring. <laughs> It'll mean selling the car, but, uh, but who cares? After all, it's not every day you meet the woman you're going to marry. Oh, oh no. Oh, dear, I don't know what to say. I am so terribly, terribly sorry. Oh, my God, you I know what? She's kind of like, just especially with the look and everything, like a female... Alan Carr, the chatty man guy. <laughs> just the, the, this whole little bit right here. It just felt very chatty man. To say, I am so terribly, terribly Even the voice sorry. is similar. <laughs> oh, we're still going through with it. Similar. Oh. Oh. Oh boy, that was actually great. I hate when I appear in the, <laughs> like, awkward. Anyway, um, that was interesting. I never knew this existed. Favorite part, when he, she went to give him a hug and he pushed his face away. That was awesome. <laughs> I don't know why. That was just <laughs> my favorite little bit of it. Um, okay, thank you for that. That was fun. I mean, I, again, I love Mr. Bean. It was, it was an odd one. But I get the comic reliefs are usually odd. I f they're like a little... I feel like every time I watch one, it's the characters you know or the actors you know doing something that's just like a little off for them. Like a little maybe out of character, but it's still kind of in the realm of possibility of what could have happened in their show. Like it's weird. It's weird. Every time it's it's different. But hey, still enjoyable. I still liked it. Thank you for this. Um, thank you for, for providing it as well. Awesome. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I am off. Thank you for everything. I hope you had a wonderful time. And uh, yes, I have seen and heard so many times of people that, you know, just misunderstand each other this way completely. And it goes both ways. It's not always the guy that just, like, misconstrues everything. Sometimes it's the other way around. I mean, look at, you know, Chandler and, and Rachel's boss. <laughs> I mean, it happens. Anyway, I'm off. I'm off. I'm, I'm, I'm out. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye.